Oh, it's flipping fell. I'm flipping gonna break my leg walking down here. Flipping, I'm gonna literally gonna break my leg walking down there. Right, I've spent my whole life in Dorset pretty much. Lived in Dorset. And there's this um place near me round the corner. Obviously, you lot know that I live in Weymouth. Um, but there's this place round the corner from me called Dirtle Door, which is quite a sight. And basically what it is, is like this arch with like a big hole in the middle. It's like, it just looks nice. It's quite a therapeutic thing, place to be. It just looks kind of peng. Um, and I've never been here, but on a fine day like today, I'm gonna get involved. So we're going down to Dirtle Door now. It's walking down this like dust track here. And then um, gonna go fly the drone, I think. Gonna go put the drone, I wanna get the drone through the actual dirtle door, like through the actual hole. So I reckon I'll be able to get some mad shots there. So yeah, and I go get get down there, get on the beach, and then probably, yeah, put the put the drone in the air and see what we can do, lads. See what we can do. Obviously I've seen pictures of Dirtle Door before. Um but this is my first actual real life reaction. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a massive hole in a stone. Yeah, that's pretty mental, isn't it? What's it like get what's it like having a son as an absolute legend man? Yeah. Holy <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Alright, just done the drone lads. Got some mad scenes up top. I'm now gonna sit here, relax, have some lunch, and um probably smoke a cigar because I'm a true athlete. Daddle door. Completed it boys. Completed it, first time here, and now we've got to walk all the way back up to the car, but you wouldn't think it, living in Weymouth, round the corner, the old man. And uh, yeah, literally, first time being here, so. But, it was a great success. All right, this is a pretty sick day because today, we are getting our own beach hut, yes our own damn beach hut. I live about five minutes away from the beach. So what we're doing today is picking up a bloody beach hut and painting it. I'm uh, I'm probably the least hands-on person there is. I rubbish at anything manly when it comes to like painting, decorating, fencing, anything like that. I am not the guy, but Today, I'm gonna to get my white overalls on and I'm gonna paint this damn beach hut. Probably gonna look a bit shit, but I'm gonna give it my best go. <laughs> right, lads, okay, so I've just pulled up to the beach hut. I'm basically unloading all the stuff that we're gonna be chucking in there. So, like your standard stuff, like plates, pots and pans, like all that jazz. But we were gonna be repainting the whole thing. Um, but after actually going in it, we've realised that we don't actually need to repaint it because the paint is in really good, like the actual beach hut itself is in really good condition. All we're going to be doing is like cleaning the floor because there's like a bit of mould on it, like a few mould patches. So we're going to clean the floor, clean the walls, um, 
and do that instead of repainting the whole thing because there's no point painting it for the sake of painting it, you're just wasting time. Yeah. Yeah, it looks alright. Looks good. So we're slowly like moving things in to the hut. Um, slowly, obviously, it's a work in progress, so it's not going to look like this forever. Like it's going to look a lot nicer. Um, but I think for starters, for the first like half a day moving stuff in, it's looking pretty good. To be fair, looking pretty naughty. Got a kettle, got a microwave. All we need now is a fridge to uh, have some beers in there. And we're uh, looking looking pretty good. Right, okay, so me and Mum have got the last of the stuff for the beach hut. We've literally just been to the shops, picked up everything, um, and we're going to go shift it to the hut now. But this is probably the last clip you might see of us actually doing anything to do with the hut, but I'm not too sure. Today's been a bit mental, been a bit all over the place, but... It's vibes. It's life, boys and girls. It's life. Tell you what, we put a shift in today. Haven't we? Ma. Right, this is the last trip to the beach hut. The last damn trip to the beach hut. I'm knackered, I'm hungry, I want to go home. But it's going to be worth it because the vibes this summer in the beach hut. Beach hut vibes. It's gonna be sick. Barbecues, beers, just gonna be decent. But my moving in present to the beach hut, mum is buying like, you know, your essentials, like the pots, the pans, the kettles and everything like that. My contribution is gonna be a shisha pipe. I want a shisha pipe, so I'm gonna buy a shisha pipe and it's gonna be sick to have an actual shisha pipe in the beach hut, just, just gonna be nice, isn't it? So I'm gonna get a shisha pipe. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but I'm gonna get a shisha pipe. What is happening, people? Oh my God, what a day it has been. It has been a full on day. Considering we actually haven't like fully moved in the hut, we've been non-stop, me and mum. We've been flipping, taking bits and bobs back and forth to the hut, from the house. We've been going to supermarkets to pick up more things for the hut. We've been going to B&Q to get bits and bobs. We've been all over the place. It's been flipping mental, but I'm finally home. It's four o'clock and I haven't had lunch. The last time I ate was about 11 for breakfast and I am Hank Marvin starving. I am starving. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is like, it was just basically just like a random vlog over two days, bits and bobs st um, like stuck together. A few clips here and there, but I like doing these. I like filming. I just like filming and I like making content. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you want to see like more random day vlogs or like just more vloggy based content and I will make that happen for you. Um, obviously the gyms are opening up very, very soon. So once the gyms are open, I can finally start making more gym related content. Um, start doing some like days in the lives of like other athletes and stuff like that because I know you guys really enjoyed the Ross Edgley one and to be fair I actually really enjoyed filming it so um, yeah keep your eyes peeled for that but peace out take care if you're new my name's Jordan Wright subscribe to my damn YouTube channel be part of the family the ever-growing family or the I don't know if ever-growing makes sense but Get part of it. Get part of it. Shit, I'm waffling. Take care. Much love. See you in the next one.